<laughs> All right, guys. So uh, this if we're moving on to our next Patreon request, and this one comes from my good friend Jason Voorhees2011, who asked me to do a Patreon request um, based on a mo basically asking what Disney rides would I like to see get movies. Um, but as always, if you guys would like to have a Patreon request done, just hit the link below. Head on over to my Patreon. You guys can start sending me requests for videos to do here on YouTube. But other than that, um, let's get started with the videos. Uh, with the video, excuse me. Now, obviously, with um, uh, Haunted Mansion coming out, and the, and of course the pirate franchises, we're not going to use we're not going to use the big two. Pirates and Haunted Mansion, they already got their movies. But you may be... Th and also, we're not going to do... For this, we're not going to do rides based off of IPs. So, we're not going to have, like, Mickey's Runaway Railway or Star Tours or anything like that. This is original IP rides. And you may be thinking already, well, Multi, that doesn't really leave a lot. There's a lot of IP going around the rides. Shouldn't it be that, you know, we do, you know, we do more with IP-based rides because there isn't a lot out, uh, you know, there aren't a lot of, um, the original IP rides are out, the, uh, you know, have enough? Sorry, it's late, I'm very tired. But yeah, Jungle Cruise, I forgot also Jungle Cruise got their ride, uh, also got their movie. Oh, shit, I am tired. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Um, so yeah. But here's the thing. There's a lot of rides out there, based off of original uh, um, intellectual properties, that could hold their own as a movie. In fact, I'm not going to include Figment, because Figment's apparently getting a movie. Or not, depending on how the strike goes. But yeah, Figment's getting a movie. Um, hopefully that'll mean we get the Dreamfinder and um, Journey into Imagination. That's getting a ride. Which I'm very excited for, and yeah... Obviously, a popcorn, I guess a popcorn bucket based off of Figment did a lot. <laughs> just, just did everything. But, that does, uh, so, but yeah, so that shows that there's a lot of, still, a lot of original IP out there that could get, uh, work as a ride. Starting off with one I think could really hold its own, Big Thunder Mountain Rail, uh, Thunder Mountain Railroad. Thunder Mountain Railroad, Thunder Mountain, yeah, Thunder Mountain Railroad is a coaster that mo one of the most popular coasters at um, the Disney parks. But here's the thing. There is even a comic that kind of talks more about the lore and the curse of the mountain and the lost treasure. So you could easily make this a Western movie. This could be a cool, like, Western uh, train heist kind of movie and also kind of delve into, like, the lost gold, the exp uh, like, the curse of the mountain... Even, like, talk about, because there's fun dinosaur bones you, fl you fly through. So even talk about, like, dino the dinosaur bones and even talk, uh, like, even give mention to um, another ride, which we'll get into next, about the Curse of the Thunderbird, which is um, the curse that uh, befalls those who dig into the mountain and look for the gold. Um, and that, and that, is actually a tie-in to another ride we'll talk about in a second. But yeah, Thunder Mountain Railroad could easily be like a cool, like, a western kind of film, kind of have a bit of a, uh, like, charm to it as well. I think there's a lot of potential there, as does the Phantom Manor. Now, Phantom Manor, I guarantee you'll probably be looked at next for a sequel or be mentioned in the Haunted Mansion, for all we know, in this upcoming movie. And if it does well, we'll probably get Phantom Manor sometime later on. Phantom Manor is a is the more darker and probably the best of the Haunted Mansions. Of all the Haunted Mansions, this is the darkest and scariest one. Hell, even the re-theme, um, the refurbishment and new story they tell uh, they uh, they added into this is still kind of a pretty fucking scary, uh, like creepy story and imagery. I think it would be really cool to have the Phantom as the you know as a villain. Could you like could, could you replace um, Vincent Price? No, but I'm just saying like would anyone be opposed to Tony Todd as the Phantom? Come on. Anyway, um, so there's that. I think Phantom Manor 
if it does well, I think if we get a if Haunted Mansion does well enough, I do believe we will get something with Phantom Manor, either in a sequel or its own movie, like a spin-off film. Speaking of manners, let's go further into the international IP and talk about Mystic Manor. Mystic Manor is part of uh, the C, um, the uh, Society of Explorers and Adventurers, which is a original IP thing they've been tying all together with the rides. In fact, you probably saw it in the Jungle Cruise movie as well. So I think that'd be cool to like kind of t uh, tie this more because they are trying to po uh, um, do more with C. So that would be really cool to really play with that idea. And Mystic Manor is owned by one of the mem uh, founding members of the Society of Explorers and Adventurers. And the story is pretty fun. It's you could just do. There's so much you could do with it. It's a mansion instead of ghosts. It's a mansion full of mystical items that are all gathered together and don't fuck with it. <laughs> so and then someone fucks with it and that's the whole mansion. Is that you're? Just, it's these group of characters trying to put the basically put Pandora's box back in the box. I'm not making a lot of sense. I'm very exhausted. <laughs> um. So I think that Mystic Manor would be really cool. I do think that Space Mountain could all is another um, one. This one could easily be like a fun science fiction adventure where you have the characters um, trying to leave a moon base that is being just, you know, either hit by, you know, solar flares or fucking... Uh, asteroids, something like that. And speaking of space, how about Mission Space? Mission Space, uh, like, it's been a while since we've had a go-to-the-stars kind of movie. You know what I'm talking about? Like, Apollo 13 or Space Cowboys. The last one that really kind of had that whole feel of those kind of movies was really The Martian. So it's been a while since we've had, like, a movie that had, like, that kind of feel-good science fiction story. Also, you have to have Gary Sinise in the film. There's no like you. You have to have it. You have to have you have to have Gary Sinise in the film. You gotta have Lieutenant Dan in there. For those wondering why I say this is because he's in the ride pre-show. So yeah, you gotta have Gary Sinise in the film. There's there's no way to yeah. There's no negotiation. If you do a Mission Space movie, you have to have Gary fucking Sinise. End of story. Following that. As for um, as for what else I could see getting or an original ride, uh, an, ori an original movie, a ride getting a movie, I would say, um, well, pro like it's no longer the sad part is it's no longer around, so we can't really play with it that much, and that is um, and that is New Horizons. New Horizons would have been really cool as a kind of another optimistic science fiction film. Um, again, we haven't had that since The Martian, so I think that would be a lot of fun. I also believe, I also think that there's a lot of uh, rides that at, at Epcot, whether they be, you know, Sor I think Soren, Soren maybe, but you'd really need a, you would really need a good story for it. Like, it's like and this would probably be like a good feel-good movie of just, a company that has hang gliding and they're re going out of business but then the daughter has a big dream and it's just soaring across the sky and sees Disneyland and is just totally in you know inspired by Walt Disney and his corporate bukkake of the you know California and then just comes back and goes we're gonna call it soaring and we're gonna soar over California and other states and all of that Something like that. I don't fucking know. I'm grasping at straws. I got the big ones out. I, I, I'm grasping at straws at this point. Anyway, so you guys tell me in the comments below. What Disney rides would you like to see get movies? I forgot to mention that, Holly, uh, you know, Tower of Terror not only got a movie, it was supposed to get a remake, but it had Scarlett Johansson in it. But after how bad Chapek fucked over ScarJo, I don't think that's gonna be. Ha I don't. I haven't heard jack shit about that that move. That new Tower of Terror movie. Would I like to see a new move or like a remake of Tower of Terror? Yeah. 
it ain't happening for a while, apparently. So, anyway. So you guys tell me in the comments below, what movies would you like to see made out of original Disney rides? Just comment below, let me know. Once again, I'd like to thank my good friend uh, Jason Voorhees2011 for this Patreon request and continued patronage. Other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.